Apologies, but you are not clear to purchase from me yet. Personal matters interfere with what may be best for everyone. Personal matters? This is a Ministry of State matter, and I will handle it as I see fit. He is a traitor. He turned his back not only on his family, but on our people's entire belief system. The fact that he still breathes is a stain upon the House Bethal name. You would doom us all with your pride. I will do as I please as head of this house. If you are not a member of House Bethal, you do not belong here. Another High Council lackey come begging? I told Lovic no more! Forgive my brother. He has been forgetting his manners of late. Victor, this is Anaskos Chosen. You recall Lovic sent word. I recall he spoke of a newly anointed promised. And we do not need help. Especially from an outsider. You can't continue to refuse the council. You must act. Your inaction is killing you. Precisely. Which is why he leaves me no choice but to say this. My nephew, Varric, has left. And until he returns, Victor refuses to assist the council. These are hardly matters for the ears of an outsider. And who are you to tell me what is vital and what is not? You are an outsider. You have no understanding of our house. Yes, quite the conundrum indeed. Is this not the opportunity you've been looking for, brother? A third party capable of finding Varric? Yes, you said so yourself. Someone with no loyalties to speak of. And if he's become promised, truly his arrival is more than coincidence. <sighs> Serpent, give me strength. You both speak true. Perhaps I have reacted in haste. Tell me, Vindicator, are you well practiced in discretion? Good. I can appreciate a monetary understanding, and to ensure you keep your word, you will receive payment afterwards. As Vittoria mentioned, my son, Varric, has left. Essentially, he has abandoned his post, and not only did he turn his back on his house, but the Great Serpent as well. He is a traitor, and must be dealt with as such. Victor, surely you don't mean it. He does, Luther. He is allowing his fervent pride and anger to cloud his judgment. What my brother is trying to say is that he wishes his own son dead. First, we lose Vashti to that malignant tearing through Dazra. And now you so willingly offer up Varric, as if our house has not suffered enough loss already. I will not speak of her with an outsider, promised or not. Your focus is solely on Vedic. My son denounced the very faith that defines Varun's society. He dared to blame Anasco for the state of Dazra, dared to call our faith in the Great Serpent blind. It is heresy and punishable by death. 
because he let his weakness get the better of him. He sees himself as a prisoner in this life. He runs from a duty that others would spend their lives coveting. He is my son. He does not get to choose. He was born to inherit my title, and he knows the punishment for refusing to honor it. This is not grief. This is betrayal, not only to me, but to our society and the great serpent himself. I do not wish Vedic dead, but as head of the Ministry of State, he left me no choice. All must serve. Those who refuse will be met with death. Our duty as wardens is to keep the populace tasked and loyal. All must serve, both the Great Serpent and House Varun. No exceptions. Those who refuse must be cleansed to stop the spread of corruption. Exceptions show weakness, and we cannot afford to show weakness at a time like this. We have done the same for less. You act as if death is the only answer. What about forgiveness? I will not risk the Ministry's authority on the actions of my own son, even if he is my chosen heir. If the High Council wants my cooperation, I need you to find Vedic and carry out his sentence. And I would ask you to spare him. My brother is acting under impulse, not reason. I have never been more clear. Speak against me one more time, and you will regret it. Verik has a signet ring with House Vethal's family crest. Bring it to me as proof of death. Only then will I grant you access to the power grid. There is no other way. The Ministry of State must uphold order, and you will be expected to serve as we all do. I recommend you start by speaking to patrons of the Herald's Rest. Some of Vedic's associates there may know where he went, but keep in mind anyone who has directly aided him in hiding is an accomplice and shares his fate. The Herald's Rest is our local bar, and unfortunately, my son's favorite establishment to frequent and while I know a bar isn't the ideal place for discretion, I still expect you to keep these matters private. All anyone needs to know is that you are looking for Varric. See to it you do. All anyone needs to know is that you are looking for Varric for personal reasons. I will not risk word of his disappearance, getting out before I can say the situation has been handled. Some cosa to lift your spirits? Varric. Hmm. Depends on who's looking for him. And why, of course. Personal, huh? Hmm. I can respect that. Truth is, I haven't seen him for a few days myself. But if you find him, tell him he better come check on his tab. I know he's good for it, but since he gave Eggy permission to use it, it's sky high. Just because he's a regular doesn't mean he tells all. I wouldn't worry about him. I'm sure he's fine. It always helps when you have a personal connection.
I don't blame you. Especially in times like these. I know a lot more people than just you who feel the same. I'm sorry. I really can't help you. Unless a drink might ease your troubles. Greetings. You seem to be doing well. There was never a time when I was old enough to be allowed to drink alcohol here. Not looking for company right now. This railing is taken. And no, I'm not looking for company. Oh, of course. Who would be looking for me anyway? And why should I know anything about the heir apparent? I'm nobody. Ask him yourself, if you find him. Do I? Perhaps at one point, I thought I did. Varric. One day we're inseparable, and the next... I've searched all of Dazra for him. But he's gone. Couldn't even leave a note. That means he either doesn't want to be found, or... Well, I prefer not to think about it. So, what if I did? Like I said, he doesn't want to be found. If he did, I must have been too dense to pick up on it. Yes, and I sure got yelled at plenty of times for being places I shouldn't. Nope. Nothing. Enough of this. Please leave me alone. I don't want to think about him anymore. We lost a lot of good people to the Vortex. Bar seems much emptier. Quieter. <coughs> oh. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, you just revealed the question of the day. Where is Varric Vathal? The worst thing that can possibly happen happens. And then he disappears. I mean, come on, we're supposed to be friends. <laughs> That's what I thought. You'd think B would at least be commiserating with me. But I'm suddenly too drunk to deal with. <laughs> Some friend she is. All she cares about is Varric. Huh? Oh, uh, uh, B's a friend. Or maybe was a friend. Yeah. Me, B, and Varric makes three. Figured we were friends till the end. Right? That's what we do. When we lost people to the so-called incident, we banded together. I just want Varric to show up so things can get back to normal. Whatever that is. No, I can't. I... Tame! He mentioned talking to Tane one day about getting off-world, seeing the settled systems. We never thought he was serious, and even if he wasn't... Hmm. Tane still might know something. <laughs> Your best bet is just sticking around. Tane's a regular. 
I'm sure he'll be by any minute if you just want to take a seat. Start looking up soon around here. Hey, aren't you that outsider made promise that showed up here recently? Oh, wow. <laughs> you really bought in, huh? I'm an outsider myself. It's hard to get into the whole giant snake thing. I guess when you're part of the supply chain, they make a few exceptions. There's not a lot of people in the import-export business when it comes to Dazra, and they aim to keep it that way. But believe me, it wasn't any short amount of time before they let me roam these streets. You could say I'm like a specialized delivery service, moving stuff back and forth between Dazra and the settled systems. Just so happens I got a lot of time on my hands since Dazra went to hell and I lost my ship. And let me tell you, I thought things were grim before. Whatever that incident was, this whole planet's gonna need therapy. Tell me about it. I've been doting stuff back and forth for these people for years and still get the cold shoulder most places I go. But then these people lose half their city and you show up and suddenly it's divine intervention. Well, glad Dozer didn't disappoint. Something tells me you aren't kidding. Anyway, enough about that. What can I do you for? Beric Vathal, huh? That's no small name around here. Well, I guess that depends, Vindicator. Who wants to know? I consider Varric a bit of a friendly acquaintance. I know enough about the guy to care about his physical well-being, if you know what I mean. Sounds more like an ominous third party if you ask me. Although, let's just say after what went down here, my retirement's looking imminent, and I haven't exactly been saving up for a rainy day. So if you're feeling generous, maybe we can help each other out. Nice to see we operate on the same wavelength. I'm pretty sure he's heading into the Highlands. Just not sure where, but I do have the means to track him. So you just say the word and we're off to the races. Highlands region is the northwest side of Dazra. Pretty good area if you don't want to be easily found. Yep, when it comes to my stuff, it's like a package deal. I'm not just gonna hand off valuable tech to some stranger. You make it sound creepy. But yeah, for emergencies. After you. Once we're outside of Dazra, I'll fire up my tracker, and fingers crossed, it'll lead us right to him. Just head out the west gate, should be the fastest route.
Plenty of places to be hiding outside of Dazra. Let's hope Beric. Oh, this whole thing? Well, truth is, I made a deal with Beric a while back. The guy isn't exactly keen on being cooped up in Dazra. Wants to see what the galaxy has to offer. So I told him when he's ready, pick a safe spot somewhere outside of Dazra, and I'll go get him. Well, I can't guarantee it, but I've got a hunch. If he's run off, wouldn't you take the only thing that could help get you off this planet? Hey, no way I'm running the risk of getting caught smuggling Barrack Bathal off-world. The moment anyone catches wind of that, I can kiss my life goodbye. Yeah, Barrack's a bit of a free thinker. Poor kid appealed to dear old dad on a few occasions. But Victor's having none of it.
temporary encampment, but not an uneventful stay for the occupant. Unlock that for a reason. Let us see what it is. I could have done without that. All my years and all the planets I've been on, never gonna get used to those things. Sure looks like it. Damn House of Ruin. Wiping out half their city and bringing in whores like these. At least I don't see a body around here, so I hope that means Varric's alive. You find anything? Injured? Hope he doesn't bleed out by the time we find him. Well, what's next? Varric must have fled in a hurry since his tracker's still here. So guess the rest is up to us. Sounds like a plan. And hopefully that injury slows him down enough for us to catch up. Let's head back down and see what we can find. And by we, I mean you.
Caregiver protocol is active. That's far enough, strangers. You want to tell me what you're doing on my property uninvited? Through here? You realize you're in the middle of nowhere. I can understand that, but I can't help you. The only people here are my partner Zen and our daughter Mila. No one comes around here. We're isolated, and that's the way we like it. That's... a generous offer. Irina, are you sure you know what you're doing? Zen. Yes, I know quite well. Never mind my partner, they're just overly cautious. As I said, we're isolated out here. We keep to ourselves. But... We did aid an injured young man a few days ago. That's gotta be very. It's too coincidental. It must have been him. We sent him north. There's a long abandoned growth farm we felt he could make use of. He claimed he lost everything in the incident that swallowed half of Dazra. He wanted to start a new life. We even gave him two of our own growths to get started. You're welcome, and safe travels. If you find him, give him our regards.
Trust you have slept well. Eric's been busy if he got this much done. Nothing going on out here. How about you? Find anything? Sounds like it's a waiting game then. It seems I have uninvited guests. You want to explain yourselves? Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, it's me. Dang. Put the gun down already. It's not you I'm concerned about. It's your... friends. Rightfully so. I wish I could say I was pleased to meet you, but something tells me this isn't a social call. Please, if you're here on my father's orders, allow me to plead my case. I'm glad someone does for once. I am not sure how familiar you are with our culture, but all I've ever wanted was the right to choose. I was born House Vethal. I was raised to inherit the role of Elder, to run the Ministry of State, to worship the Great Serpent. But I want none of it. With House Vethal? Easier said than done. This is true. House Vethal and the Ministry of State are known to be the most devout and punitive of the houses. It would not be easy to leave without extreme consequences, as you now know. It's never mattered how much I tried to reason with him. My father simply would not let me go. His pride and fear of what it would mean for House Vethal is all he cares about. You sound as if you speak from experience. I envy you. Sometimes I would give anything for a supportive word from my father. All I want is to make my own life. Something Tain understood and was willing to help me with. The credits help too, but yeah. We talked about this briefly a while back already, but there's a bit more to it. I lost my ship to the incident, so I didn't want Varric running off thinking I could just grab him and go. I was also out all the credits he was gonna pay me. That's where you came in. I figured, why not two for the price of one? So, now you know my true intentions for leaving, and given the circumstances, I may be here for some time. My hope now is to make the best of it here.
I suppose I owe you that much. The truth is, the scaled citadel was the last straw. My people are so blinded by faith and politics, they don't see how it's destroying us. Anasko Varun eliminated half our population in the blink of an eye. My sister Vashti among them. I could no longer live in a society that won't put its people first. That would destroy itself in the name of a god that has done nothing for us. Especially when that faith leads to hate. I hope you can see why I want to walk away from all this. To start my own life. I ask that you give me that chance. Anything. Name it. The credits are easy, and I'll gladly pay a price for freedom. As for the ring, Vashti gave it to me. It's all I have left of her since the Cataclysm. The disaster took every physical reminder of her except for this ring. Just wiped her from existence. True. It's as if she's looking out for me. One last time. Take it. I'll find solace in the fact that the ring will remain with my family. And now I hope we are done here. Thank you for seeing reason. I owe you both my life and freedom. Now that's over with. I'm gonna hang back here, talk to Varric a bit. Besides, I don't want to be around when you break the news to Victor. Do me a favor and find me at the Herald's Rest when you're done. Hey, you have literally... Let us speak. You're back. What news do you bring? What have you done? Eric. This blood is on your hands, Victor. I hope you remember this. And I clearly said exceptions should be made. No, it was Varric's choice. He knew the consequences. You were his father. You were supposed to protect him. You think you are doing what is right out of some blind dedication, but you are destroying this house. You already lost one child. You had to murder the other. Victoria! I will not hear any more of this! It is done! Leave us! Oh, I am leaving to mourn my nephew whose memory you disgrace with your very presence. Victoria! Leave her be, Luther. The Great Serpent will guide her. She will understand in time and emerge stronger for it. Then I can appreciate a tool that does not question. Ultimately, I care nothing for what you think. Now, only one matter remains to discuss. Did you find anyone who aided my son in his treachery? Well done. I also have heard nothing of my son's disappearance. So I believe you have kept your word and shall be paid accordingly. You restored order to this house, and have my gratitude. Here, the access code that Ekris needs to connect to the power grid. Now go. I have much to arrange.
first Vashti. Now Varric. I can't imagine this is what Victor truly wanted. Something is in this world. I can't speak in it. Sorry, but you will have to get approval before you can buy any weapons from me. You do not have approval to trade with me. Our fate lies in the morning device. It must be completed. Ah, did Victor finally relinquish the access code? Ah, excellent. We'll finally have the resources to fully charge the morning device. Now, let's hope House Kadik is as forthcoming as the others.